Hello world. Welcome back to Let's Talk Barca episode 34. And in this episode, this is a preview of the Bayern Munich versus Barcelona Champions League match day two. Let's get into it, guys. All right, guys. So we're going to do the preview for the match day two Bayern Munich hosting uh, Barcelona. Now, this is a sweet, sweet tie. This is like now I'm I'm sort of got mixed emotions. Like playing Bayern is always great, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I think we've played Bayern like six, seven times in the last what three years. So I'm sort of bored of playing Bayern. Like you know, what I mean, I sort of wanted to play somebody else um, before playing Bayern. I always wanted to play Bayern because I like I believe Barcelona has to beat Bayern um, in order to in order to. F- you know, I mean, I guess we redeem ourselves from from the last few years. Uh, we do have to p- play and beat Bayern. Um, I just didn't want to play them in in the, in the group stages. It's, it's like it's like come on, like the best part of the group stage is playing Victoria because at least we've played. That was the first team we've played. Like you know what I mean? The first team we haven't played like ten times. Like you know what I mean? Until we played so many different times. Now we're playing Bayern. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's my little rant. And now let's get into the preview. All right, guys. So we get into this game here. We don't have much right now. Um, Xavi has announced a full roster, so everybody's in. Um, Alonso, Hector Bellerin, everybody's in. Um, Pablo Torre. So everybody made the team. Sergio Roberto's back. Um, nobody's out. No, everybody's healthy. Uh, everybody's fit and ready to go. And everybody traveled to Berlin for this game. Um, so this should be uh a great game guys like we have a full strength team we have everything so let's get into what the the breakdown was so as we see it so we have a full team so now this is gonna be an interesting game because both teams have similar styles we're both very um possession oriented both high high press um high defensive line teams now they are probably a little bit more extreme than us in terms of their pressing and so forth uh but we're actually designed to counter them you know we, with with Dembele with Rafinha with Fatih healthy on the wings where they press from where they are going to be challenging us where that's where we attack from so we attack down the wings and they're going to be bringing their fullbacks in to to press so when they bring the fullbacks in to press if we break their the initial press we're gone right no way Delit or anybody else is keeping up um, Umakana, whoever they start is keeping up with with um, Dembele on the wing. You know, we know they're not keeping up with Fati on the wing. They're not. They're just not keeping up with those guys. They're not keeping up with Rafina on the wing. You know, so it, it's really going to come down to the finishing of Fati and pretty much Dembele. You know, so we we know what we're going to get for Lewandowski. Lewandowski is going to help. He's going to he's going to be able to um, drop deep um, when we're trying to break break the press. So he's going to drop deep, control the ball. He's probably going to drop it off to one of the interiors or straight off to um, Dembele or Fatih. And then from there, we're going to break. All right? I'm going to probably be breaking real hard. Uh, and that's pretty much going to be the game for us is how well are we going to be able to defend. So Bayern Munich t- attack with a lot of one-touch passing. So our ability to stay tight in the middle. So whoever starts as uh, CBs, they're going to have to be able to do a lot of intercepting. Uh, if it's Busquets or the Young that starts as the holder, we're, um, we're going to have to work to, to intercept a lot of balls. So I, this is why I see Gavi is probably going to start because... As we could see with Gavi, he's very high press, very energetic, up and down, and he will to put in a good shift and put in good tackles. And we're gonna need that. Same with the um, Pedri. So the question is, does Xavi believe that Biscuit's mobility and his uh, lack of physicality is that gonna hurt us? And is he gonna go with the young or Frank Kessie to sort of try to combat that to give us a little bit more? Um, athleticism and physicality in the midfield, but then it's going to hurt our press break because um, we're going to then have to pull back somebody to help with the press break. So this is going to be very interesting. It's going to be a very tactical battle. We're going to get to see just how tactically aware Xavi is and his adjustments to the game. You know, so so far he's relied strictly on actual just you know player excellence. Now we're going to see what Xavi actually can do tactically. Um, as Nagelman makes his changes and makes his adjustments and as the game adjusts, how does Xavi adjust and what what changes does he make? You know, what lineup is he going to produce? So very exciting, very interesting. I mean, we 
we pretty much know what the starting uh, 11 is going to be um, due to the fitness. We have an idea that Sané, Mane, and Gnabry are probably going to start because Coleman is out. Um, so we know that that's probably going to be the starter. If it's not Gnabry, then it'll probably be Muller. Um, but they might, if they move Muller up into the attack or Musali, uh, Musaeli, um, the young kid there, Grid, the young kid, um, is he going to start? Um, we know that Kimmich is going to start in the middle. Uh, we know that Davies is going to start. We have probably Uma Makano and Delit will be their center backs. Um, you know what I mean? So we, we have a good idea of what Byron's is, is basic starting lineup is going to be um, because of their injuries. Uh, and, you know, I really do believe that we have the team to beat them. I think it might be just a little early for us to put on a great display, especially on the road, but we definitely can take these guys on. All right, so just before we wrap up here, I'm going to give like what I think the best lineup will be, um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, so obviously, it's just taking in goal. I'm going to start with Balde. I know a lot of people saying Alonso or, or thing with the experience, but I would want to give Balde, especially because this is a Champions League, the first game. I want to give him the experience and see how he performs on the road in a pressure situation, right? So I would give Balde to start um, beside him. Because of the speed that they're going to be working with, I'm probably going to have to start Arujo on the left and Kunde in the, on the right as a two center backs. Um, I'm ho the reason being to match the speed that they have. They don't really have a strong center forward. Their center for they're using a false nine, and everybody's dropping deep and then spreading out wide. So you don't know who's going to pop up where. So 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 Mane could be in the middle or he could be on the wing, right? So you have to have um, your CBs with speed because if you put Garcia, he's too slow. So they're just going to put. You know, Mane or Sane match up with Garcia, but start Mane from the left and bring him, bring him, bring him in onto Garcia, right? With his speed already moving, and there's no chance for Garcia. You know, where uh, Arujo or Kunde would have actual chance to to catch up or to accelerate um, to close down that actual space in there uh, to cover that space a little quicker and a little better to make that pass a little bit more difficult, right? So those are the things I'd be worried about, and that's why uh, you know I'm not overly you know, confident right now um, with our back lineup facing them. Not because I don't think our back line is good enough. I think we are definitely good enough, more than good enough. I just don't think that we have necessarily the cohesion needed and the chemistry needed to deal with um, something like this. But I do think that this is a great opportunity to see what we have just on pure talent. And then once we can get everything going, we'll be dangerous. And then on the uh, right... I'm not sure. It could probably going to be Sergio Roberto. The reason being is attacking purposes. Sergio Roberto um, does invert well. Uh, so because he does invert well, he does provide us with a little bit more assistance and help in the middle of the park when it comes to um, both pressing and breaking up the, the actual attack. Because Byron does overload the middle with their with all their entire team pretty much plays in the middle of the park. Uh, OK, and then we get into the center of the, the, the center of the, the park here. For me personally, I probably would start Frankie De Jong over Biscuits. I would go with uh, my personal preferred lineup would be Pedri, Kessie, and Frankie De Jong. Um, reason being, um, Kessie and uh, Frankie De Jong could play as a double pivot. Uh, that would match uh, Kemish and whoever uh, they they choose to go with um, to go with in the midfield. So whoever that they choose, I think that Kessie and Frankie Dion can physically and, and technically match up well with them and still be able to provide us with what we need in, in terms of box to box. And then you could take out Kessie and bring in Gavi and have his little, you know, pit bull dog mentality coming in later that, that's going to help us um, later on in the game, especially in a close game, because then Gavi coming in there and running up and down the pitch is going to create space and, and, and create openings, right? And then uh, my attacking lineup, uh, you might have suspected it earlier. Um, on the right, I would start Dembele. Clearly, Lewandowski would start as center forward. And I would actually go on the left. I would go with Fatih. I'll give Fatih his 60 minutes to go out there and play in a big game and, and see how they work. That's my. That's the future of Barcelona. That's the future attack. Rafinha, I mean, he's good and all. But right now, I would not. Like, Fatih is just too much of a talent and steps up too much in big games um, to, to bench Fatih. So I would start Fatih. He needs to start playing these um 
back-to-back games now. He doesn't need to actually play the full 90 minutes yet on back-to-back games, but he does need to start playing 60 and 60 um, back-to-back games now and then maybe rest him on the weekend to come off the bench, but he can definitely start this game. All right, so that would be my starting lineup. I don't think that uh, Xavi's going to do that. I think Xavi's probably going to stay. I think he might go with the back lineup that I selected, but he might bring in Eric Garcia. I wouldn't be shocked if he bring in, he brought in Eric Garcia, and I wouldn't be shocked if he brought in Biscuits and Gavi. You know, uh, I just wouldn't be shocked with that. I do think he'll go with my with my attacking three. Um, he suggested it. He's talked about that all throughout the season. If you've actually read his comments, he's been prepping Fatih for these moments, um, and this is when he's going to go out there and show Fatih exactly how much trust and how much faith he has in him. All right, guys, so, you know, I predict that we're going, should be able to win this game. Viva the Barca. Um, so let's go. This is for those who know, you know. If you don't know, you just don't know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.